happy vlog -tumber, day number 28 the day is almost over it's late it's probably like 9 30 or 10. i did some shopping went to walmart went to my mom's house to help ava mm. it was her homework got some frozen eating food i want to try it out Alright, this is brown here. And I also got the bar chicken one too. This will make it easy for like lazy days of course. And take to work lunch. But yeah. So you know how I tell you guys how my lead it's nothing new. She's so toxic. She's a bully. She's just rude as fuck. When she's happy, it's like the nicest person. And when she's in a bad funk, you see it, you feel it. The whole office feels it. It's tense and it's annoying. And like, she could be like all pissed and moody all day long. And all of a sudden, at the end of the day, where everything is done and dandy, like everyone's leaving or whatever, four o'clock hits, totally different demeanor. Super nice, super loud, almost annoying. But it's like, dude, you do this all the freaking time. And everybody sees it. Everyone knows it. But people like her just get away. But anyway, it's not like I'm pissed. It's not like I'm irritated. But I'm also thankful, again, I have new co-workers who I just so fun to work with. And I think if they weren't around, I would be in a deep funk because of her, of my lead. So... I was, like, not feeling her. Because the moment I walked in, I was like, morning. Like, like happy, like, morning, guys. And her voice, morning. Like, there's a difference with, hi, Ren Ren. Because when she's in, in a high, hi, Ren Ren. That's my nickname. But, nope. And I'm like, that just, like, triggers me. Not so much that it irritates me anymore. Again, like, I have good people to work with. It's just annoying. So annoying. So, my mechanism is, like, stay the fuck away from her. Do what I need to do. Don't even mingle because her presence, her energy, I cannot, I cannot stand. So, she kind of noticed I wasn't really talking to her, like, unless I have to. Um, just doing my thing, working, but just not really conversing with her at all because she irritates the shit out of me. And I was talking to everyone else and then she kept texting me and she called me yesterday when I was still working because I'm like the last one at work because I stay late because I p take care of the school. And I got pick up. And then today she tried again. She's like, hey, Rin Rin, what's wrong? Touch my hair and shit. Hit me in the eye with my own hair. And <sighs> is everything okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Later she tried to ask me again. I said, I don't want to talk about it. And it's complicated. Because in my head, bitch, I told you how I feel a couple months ago in that long-ass letter when all the MAs attacked you. And, um, yeah, called you out. Still don't get it. Still don't get it. And I just don't have the time and energy to tell you the same reason why everyone doesn't like you. Because you're a bully, you're toxic, and you need to get help with your emotions at work. Because your negativity, you use it against all of us. You're projecting your negativity to all of us. When everyone else comes to work so hyper, so happy, so fun. But the moment you, we walk in and we see you and your voice and your demeanor, it just shuts all of us down. Like, my other co-worker, who's still kind of new, she was so quiet. The normal. And I'm like, this thing happened? And they're like... You know, yeah, mm -hmm. but she's going to keep bugging me, and she looked all sad today because she couldn't figure out why I was pissed off. It's not like I'm pissed off, it's just like, girl, get the fuck away from me, I'm over it, I'm over it. What more can I say to you, and I don't want to say it to you because it's going to make her feel really, really bad, and I don't want that feeling either. Like, shit, I know she goes through stuff, but everyone goes through stuff. Y'all know I go through stuff, but... So, like, if she bugs the shit on me again, which she will, she'll just tell her again how I really feel. But I'm tired. She should, she should know. She's been doing this for years and years and years and years and years. She's been here for, like, almost 20 plus years or whatever. And she's never changed. 
Either the people leave work because of her, or they just don't fuck with her. But I work close with her, so I can't even, like, stay away from her. And she's my lead. You know what I mean? And I do have a, a close relationship with her. Like, I've been outside work. I've been to her kid's birthday. Stuff like that. So it's, like, complicated. I'm one of the few people at work in her life that I'm the one that checks on her and go to the room. Like, hey, how are you? Have deep conversations or whatever. That's, that's why I say it's complicated. Like, shit. Like, girl... Stop being a bitch. I make a better lead, honestly. As a lead, it's not. It does. Uh, how I say it? You. Being a lead does not mean you get to be bossy and tell people what to do. Being a lead is showing an example on how to do things right. Being a lead is you do the most work so you can set an example for your colleagues so they will work just as hard. Okay? Not every time you have to make some kind of effort because you're always making excuses how, oh, you got stuff to do in the back because you're doing admin, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this and that. But the moment you lift your finger, that's when your moodiness starts. When we all work 10, 20 times harder than you. That's the problem. And you hate it when someone knows something more than you. You hate people. You think someone's being better than you. You hate not being the first one. But all this stuff, it's because of th this person has been through. I, I, can, I can guarantee. It's a pattern. No, most people who are bullies or whatever are nothing like this outside of work. They're actually the victim outside of work. So when it comes to work, their whole demeanor changes. So instead of them playing a victim, they do so we're the victims. I'm not crazy. I know this shit. But yeah. I want to show you guys the stuff that I bought from the Dollar Tree. I was going to leave in the car from yesterday. But I'm super excited. I'm always buying hella shit. I spent $60. And my other coworker is buying stuff. But my other coworker, she seems excited. But then she's like, not really involving and conversing with us about it. So I don't know. But my other friend, she's really nice. The one that paid for me at her brunch. So, and then I bought some Halloween batteries. I can't wait to show you. But let me chill and eat. And yeah, and I'm tired too. And I got videos to upload. And I got TikTok to upload. So yeah. I know my vlog... September is like not on the day off because I'm tired, but I still can't believe I've been vlogging every single day. Isn't that crazy? Aren't you proud of me? So yeah, I feel like the whole TikTok thing, um, harassment has died down. I'll still try again later, I don't know, but that weekend really like, oh, threw me off. But yeah, I was also irritated because Miss Ava... She had homework, but my mom did not even tell her to do her homework. That pisses me off. And then she goes, my, jo my job is just take her, just pick her up from school. I don't know what to say about that. At least tell her to do her homework. And I'm here, right at 8 o'clock, still has not done it. And it's so frustrating. This is why I wanted my daughter every single day so I can keep track of her besides Friday, but. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. It's so complicated. I get it. My parents have a language barrier, and I know she doesn't know how to do certain stuff. I swear to God, I think I did everything by myself as a kid homework and all this stuff. Like, I have no memories of my parents helping me. I think my dad made me because he's very smart, but. I honestly don't remember that at all. And I struggle so much in math as I got older. Like, math, I cringe until this day. And I swear, I hope Miss Ava will be excellent in math. So far, she is when she wants to be. But she's been playing dumb at school. So I, we went over that. And she knows what she's doing. She understands. And she reads perfectly. Because I knew how to read at a very early age. But goodness gracious. Like... You're watching my child at least make some kind of utter effort knowing that her mom gets off super late, 
have a good start. This is the problem. I cannot raise my daughter at all. And this is why I think why my daughter acts up so much. Because she does whatever over there. So when I come in and I get pissed off, I'm always going to look the bad guy. Am I making sense? If I had money, my daughter would totally have a babysitter. My own personal babysitter. Or some kind of like daycare type places. Not under my mom's supervision. And again, my parents take takes very good care of her when it comes to like cooking, food, making sure she's not sick or you know, but when it comes to like watching her, like noticing what she's doing because I catch I catch her all the time here when she's acting up. Over there, she's just whatever. And they're okay with that. So when she comes back here, she thinks it's okay to do certain stuff here. And I'm like, no. And that's when the tantrums starts, the yelling, the screaming, the talkbacks. But yeah, story of my life. I really pray to God that she goes out of this. Because some days I want to put my hair on and I don't know how people deal with like two kids, four kids, or like any other single parents. So yeah, I feel like if there was a second parent, a father figure, I think Ava would have been different. So I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> for like an hour went a little shopping of course or some stuff through amazon excuse the mess if you see it but you know i became a slob it's getting better um i think i ordered a bunch of batteries i ordered a new lunch bag because i'm overdue for one and i ordered a stand to organize all my crap in the bathroom because y'all know i'm doing this new skincare routine I've been doing it for a few months now. I stopped for like a month or two, but I'm back doing it. And I got a really nice toothbrush that I've been obsessed with, Sonic, and I've been just, you know, skin routine and hygiene. So let's open up this small box here. Everyone is starting to cough. And I have bad allergies. I'm getting nervous. It's almost flu shot season. This is really heavy. How the heck do I open this? I'm struggling to open this freaking box, y'all. What the heck? How the... Ugh, Jesus. Why is that such a struggle? I believe these are batteries. I got double A and triple A and the, those tiny little circle ones. I bet this is what it is. Like really tiny one. Some of my decor uses that type of battery. So I am packed for a long time. I bought the Amazon brand and the other one is like another generic brand, but it had very, very high reviews because you know, I have my light up sculptures for the holidays. And then I got a notice that the month of October, they're going to come in and check my batteries, my alarm, the change the filter, stuff like that. So that's probably gonna force me to deep clean even more. And hopefully this time around I can make it last because I am just a lazy slob the past few months. Like, I cannot have my place clean for a week. At one point I did. Now I'm just like all over the place. And I wait till like a weekend to clean. And I 
get lazy and don't do much during the weekend because I'm exhausted. And then all of a sudden, I just pop. What am I saying? I don't have a little anxiety right now, but I'm super excited about one of my orders. I got this stand to organize all my stuff in the bathroom. So be clutter free because everything's just all over the counter. It's not the best quality, but it's cute because the tray is like very plasticky. But it's this and you can stack it. So it'll be four total. I'm gonna put it together real quick.